How's it going, YouTube? This is Trainer JI, and today we have another PSA return. Uh, I believe this is number 15. Um, if you watch 14 and 13, you'll know I did these a little different. This isn't the actual complete sub uh, for this one. I had like 300-ish cards come back at once, so to make my life easier, I put them all in order so that I could like do a video, get those listed, do a video, get listed, and now I'm going to do this video and get these listed. I uh, just made my life easier and just something that I had to do to to get this done. But So you're going to see mixed certs, but regardless, I mean, this is part of those three subs. So about 100 cards. Um, this is like 2009 until current. So, yeah, not too bad. We'll jump into this and, yeah, enjoy it. All right. First up, we have Ho Oh, PSA 7. Uh, Legend piece. Yeah, I mean, we're starting off with a 7. Pretty strong, right? Yep. <laughs> got Smooch in PSA 8, Heart Gold. Uh, we got For Alligator, 9. Lapras, nine. Shuckle Hollow, always love this one, nine. Octillery, nine. And then we got Lapras again, this time in a 10. Always thought this was a really good one. Just hanging out. I guess he's hanging out in a cave. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I know he can swim, but I don't know why he's in a cave. I uh, got a couple nice ones here again. We got Heart Gold. Reverse PSA 10 Flaffy. These are pretty tough to grade. Um, pop isn't super high on them. Another really, really cool. I, I don't know. I personally love this one. Double colors, energy, heart gold, reverse 10. I mean, I don't know. I just. I'm a fan. I'm a double colorless fan. Okay? It's like an infamous card. Like, I don't know. It just always has been. We got Legend Piece, Bottom, Lugia, 8. Ooh, swirl on that one's nice. Ooh, double swirl, actually. Swirl and swirl. Cool, cool. Kind of looks like eyes. Nifty. All right, we got two stick in here. That's nice. All right, we got PSA 9, Nine Tails. Soul Silver. Really nice one. We have Parasect 9, Reverse Foil. Good artwork, man. Is this Kasube? No, Harada. It's, uh, I don't know. It's a good Parasect. We've got Delibird, 9. Again, these, these reverses are tough. Um, as far as everyone always says, oh, Japanese is always in better condition. Well, typically on some stuff, that is correct. But those reverses actually, like, you, it's really tough to get them uh, mint condition. The uh, the foiling scratches really, really easy on these. I would assume, you know, I think that was the first time they did reverses. So that was probably the reason they were, you know, testing it. But yeah, we got Meganium Prime, nine. It's kind of crazy. These things had their flash in the pan. They were so popular, going for so much money. And now they've kind of come back down to still way higher than what they used to be. But um, yeah, the the desirability is is worn off a little bit, and the price has definitely reflected that. We've got Meganium ten, the base card from the set. Cool one here too. We got Jigglypuff, nice one there. Ten. A couple reverses coming up here. Ten. We've got Snubble, pretty basic Ken Sugimori here. And we got a really nice polywag, 10. He's a happy boy jumping out of the water. And then we got Chikorita, 10 as well. Did pretty well in the reverses in that sub. Uh, Azumarill, 10. Always thought this is a really good artwork, too. Uh, this, I have probably like four or five copies in this in 10. It really doesn't sell well, but it is a great card. Uh, we got Quagsire. 10. Nice one here as well. Pretty big one. Uh, or bigger. These have also died down a little bit um, desirability wise. We got the PSA 10 bottom Lugia Legend. Alright, we got Proba Pass from the Shaman Level X collection pack. 9. Kind of a hilarious Pokemon when you think about it. We got the PSA 10 Glaceon. Ooh, that's swirl. 
Beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. Mewtwo Level X from the Mewtwo Level X Collection Pack. Go figure. PSA 9. And then we also have the PSA 10 as well. Also from that deck, we have the Rialu. Uh, this card was printed a couple times. I think maybe as a promo and then also as a base card. Um, but I believe this is the only hollow version of it. It's pretty nice, actually. All right, got another stack here. Got the Garchomp half deck, Energy Switch 9, Starly and Chimchar hanging out. Garchomp's, or yeah, Garchomp. Milotic C, 9. I mean, it's pretty pretty easy to see why this got a 9 right off the bat. Centering is just too far off to, to be the 10. We got the Lucario C, PSA 10. Movie Commemoration Pack. We got the Chikorita. M10. This is an interesting set. If you haven't gone through those, check them out. Pretty sweet. Especially the uh this the Pichus and the the Arceus is in or Arceus. They're uh they uh, all have their own like I don't, I don't know. It's definitely a very unique hollow pattern. I don't know if I've ever seen it anywhere else uh, in the hobby. We got Miss Magius GL, uh special pack promo, nine, level X. We have Cinequil. Heart Gold Soul Silver Elise Campaign 9. I'll tilt you guys up a little bit. Oh, hey, Mew. What's up, buddy? All right. This is actually... I actually really like this card a lot. Uh, this is the Challenge Heroba Participation Prize Chat Top promo from uh, DPP. Excuse me, DPTP. Um, if you look in the background, you see the Jigglypuff. There's a card of Jigglypuff on the beach, and I haven't looked at that one because I actually haven't owned many copies like in detail like this. But I would assume the Chata is also in the background. But uh, as far as Chata, it's obviously not a super popular Pokemon, but I just think it's a really nice card, and it's kind of a unique release promo as well, which is cool. All right, we have Electivire, uh, Clash of the Summit, nine. It's a very angry looking one by Tokia. He's he's got an outlet in one finger between his fingers and I don't know who he's generating electricity for, but he is he is much angry. We have Drapion, nine. Always like this one too, Kazuki artwork. It's like a triple wait, 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 wait. Let's let's zoom in on that. That's kinda cool. That orb actually kinda looks like a Pokeball. And that's sweet. Never seen that before. That's pretty cool. New one. All right, we got Palkia and then Dialga, top and bottom legend pieces. Got lucky, pulled the 10, sequential set on these. These are actually already sold. I'll actually be putting these to the side and um, for, for the other, for the customer there. Waiting for some other subs to come back to buy a few other cards and then uh, be shipping these out. But yeah, nice, nice set. Cool to get the sequential set as well. Put those to the side. Uh, really cute card here. We got Twins, Clash the Summit. Ah, oh, man, this this is just, this is super cool. Um, I think I have a, a son myself, but if I had, like, a daughter or two daughters, I think, like, I'd really want this card, like, because it, it would remind me of them. Cause there, there's one card in particular that I haven't had graded yet. Um, I think it was at Pokemon Fan Club. Or is it Pokemon fan? I don't know. That's really terrible. I know what the artwork looks like in my head, but it's a full art from X and Y. Um, it has the mom and the dad holding the the son, and like it just I don't know. It just hits for me. Like it just reminds me like when my son was like small and we had it. it I think the, that full art he's in like a Pancham costume, but like we had like a Pikachu costume, not a costume, but like a Pikachu towel for when he, he got out of the bath or the hood would go over his head. Um, I don't know. Just reminds me, like, it just gives me good memories. So it's a card that I'm going to put in my collection just because of that. And I know we're going off on a little tangent here, but I'm basically just saying if I had a, a daughter or two daughters, I think this would be something that would that kind of hit home just like that as well. But super cute card. Um, awesome Meryl, awesome Mary been there. Just, uh, yeah, really cool card. Now you've heard part of my life story. <laughs> now, I don't know. I just that I haven't really looked at that card 
like close like that and like it gave me the same sort of vibes so I figured i'd uh talk about it but yeah we got flareon reviving legends seven uh ente top half seven uh reviving legends reverse Oop, low battery hopefully that holds out we got 10 percent. we got to get this one rolling uh we got vespa queen reviving legends reverse nine Speaking of, uh, I was said earlier about talking about the primes. Here's another one. This, I think, this was the first prime that I sold during the um, big prime boom. There, I had, like a ten of this for I don't know, like something like a thousand dollars or something crazy, and you're just like, wow, like nobody wanted these. Like the ones I bought, I probably bought for like five to ten dollars a copy at the time, and graded them like in bulk just because. I mean, again, like these were so cheap at one point, but we got the Tarantar nine, definitely one of my favorite ones. I got Full Art, Regigigas, Hail Blizzard, 7. Very colorful Full Art. We have Luxray, Psycho Drive, 9. We got Dark Rush up next, Zorark, PSA, 9. Uh, Jolteon, 10. Nice one there. BWP promo. We have the Ducklet, Gym Challenge promo, 10. He's a happy boy. Not as cool as Psy Duck, but Ducklet is cool. Got Freeze Bolt Charizard. Got the nine. A uh, really nice one here, too. We got Ludicolo from Plasma Gale 10. So I thought this was a good artwork. Ludicolo actually has a lot of good cards. Uh, we got Melodic from Dragon Blade in a nine. And then we'll just move right along because we also have it in a ten. Melodic also has a lot of nice cards. Ludicolo, though, I feel like is a little less popular and slept on. Uh, we got Full Art, Registeel from Dragon Blade in a 10. Nice one there. We had a bunch of these in 10. This is another one that doesn't sell that well, but honestly, this is a fantastic Full Art. We have Keldeo, Cold Flare, 8. Celebi EX, 9. We have Dragon Selection up next here. We got PSA 9, Dragonite. And then we got the PSA 10 Latios. Another really nice one here. Unfortunate low grade, but this will be a nice cheap pickup for somebody. Uh, we got the Reshram EX promo from BWP Full Art. Man, this thing is, this is a nice card. I think this thing was a little, yeah. Yeah, she's a little chewed up in the back. I don't know why I would have sent this in, to be honest with you. But I guess I was just like, screw it. It's a Full Art. It's a, it's a nice BWP promo. I'll probably just send it in. But, um, yeah, somebody will be happy with this. I mean, the, the the back's bad, but honestly, the face is pretty much perfect, it looks like. Which sucks a lot of times because that's how it rolls. Uh, we got the Superior yeah, superior Black and White promo. We got the 9, and then again, we'll move on again real quick because we also have the 10. Ooh, actually, I forgot this was in here. This is uh, this is a keeper for me. Um, the Gym Challenge Bulbasaur BWP Permanent 10. You honestly don't see this card that often. I really don't know why. Um, I think I've graded... I think I actually bought one of these. I think I bought one of these from uh, TCA Gaming like years ago and then i sold it on auction and i don't i think i was an accident i accidentally sent it to pwcc when i was sending like like 200 or 300 cards or whatever to them but yeah i accidentally sold it and i was so mad about it i mean i made money on it which was nice but like i was like so mad and i was like ah next time i grade one of these or something i'm definitely gonna keep it so big keeper here for me really cool card i really like this one um huge obviously huge bulbasaur fan i mean my my um my profile picture is the Bulbasaur 10th anniversary promo. So, I, mean, I don't know. Just really like this one. Again, I don't know what the pop is on this thing, but I know it's fairly low. I, it used to be very, very low, like single digit. I doubt it's there now, but just a really great promo overall. Excited to have this one back in the collection. So, put this happy boy back to the side, and then I want to go in the uh, go in the safe. All right, we have Haxorus Megalocannon 9. Machamp, nine. 
last stack coming up here. I don't think this was quite 100 cards just because of the, I honestly, I don't know why it wasn't 100 cards. Um, I, I divvied out all three of the, the, the subs. I don't know if I, like, I sold some of them before. I don't know. I we were a mess. July was like a uh, we'll just call it a vacation in the middle of summer, and um, wasn't wasn't uh, as active and with it as I should have been with uh, with work. <laughs> but we got the Verizian EX Full Art PSA ten again, beautiful card, awesome colors on this one. We have Meloetta EX Shiny Collection nine. Can't beat the sparkle on those. This one might have been one we pulled. Uh, if you guys watched the video where I opened up the, was it X Collection box? I think so, yeah. Um, I did get a full art in it. <laughs> it just sucked, but it was still fun to open those. I never opened anything like that, anything from, from that era, so it was fun. But I believe this was, this was from that. We have the Raichu X First Edition, PSA 10. We have Battle Boost up next. We got the PSA 10 Oshawa. I did open this myself. Unfortunately, it was before I started recording videos. And uh, yeah, look at Grimer hanging out there. I don't know if they're about to face off or, or what the deal is, but he is very unwanted, it seems like. But we got the Duot here in 10. But yeah, I pulled that before. I opened up a couple packs of those. They were uh, pretty cheap. We got Gyarados EX Battle Boost. Really nice one. 10. Did really well in Battle Boost, it seems. Oh, that's right. There's a big one in here, too. We got Kiram EX 10. Reshiram EX 10. And then here's the big boy from this one. This was pretty cool. We got the Charizard Reverse Foil 10. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't get much better than that. I, there's a lot of people that hate on this this artwork. I really don't know what it is. I know it, it, it definitely gives off a little bit of a strange vibe, but... I don't know. I really like this card. The only reason I'm not keeping this one is because I have a Tokia autographed, like not non-hollow, unfortunately, but the Tokia autographed non-hollow this that um that's what I'm gonna throw in the collection. I just can't can't really bring myself to throw both in there. I don't know. I mean, this is really fuck a really beautiful card, but I don't know. I just can't uh with the price of this thing, I can't bring myself to do it. I could always pick up a lower grade copy for the collection. All right, next up we have a pretty crazy one here. We got the Cracked Ice Sparkle Foil Genesect, PSA 9. And then we they, for whatever reason, they did a, a couple of these. And they also did, like, Genesect was, like, the one that they did the most of. I think there might be, like, three of them. But here's another different one, the EX Battle Boost promo in a 10. We have Phantom Gate for Alligator, 10. Bandit Ring Jolteon in a 9. Uh, Jim, what is this, Jim M deck? I don't know what that is, actually. I guess I'll find out when I list it what the technical thing is. I thought it was just a Jim promo with a stamp, but I don't know. We got the PSA 9, though, the Septile EX. We have the saddest Cubone ever, uh, PSA 10 Premium Champion Pack. While they're, you know, he's looking over there. This is actually like, I think I talked about this one when I was about to grade it. Like, there's a family there with a kid. There's a mom there with the kid. There's a mom over there with two kids. And it literally, like, the whole thing with Cubone is like, it's mom, like, it's wearing its mom's skull. Like, its mom's dead. Like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just, it's super, super brutal, super metal. Like, I don't know. Super sad Cubone, but really cool card. I don't know what Kazuki was thinking on that one. <laughs> we have Manaphy, Mythical and Legendary, Dream Shine Collection, 10. Can't seem to grade a 10 of these to save my life right now. The best of XY. We got the PSA 9 Greninja. Beautiful card, though. We got the Forbidden Light. PSA 10 Greninja GX. We got the Tag Bolt Blastoise 10. Whale Lord and Magikarp GX Tag Team 10. Shaman Pokemon Center 20th Anniversary Campaign Promo. PSA 9. We got the Start Deck 100 Greninja V 10. This one has like a matte finish rather than a hollow. 
I think we got a bunch of Scythers here to finish it out. We got Scyther, Incandescent Arcana, 9. It's insane the amount of 9s and lower grades that I've graded on this, like, super modern stuff. And I really couldn't tell you what the reasoning is for it. I just, I don't mean, this thing's centered for the most, I mean, no, left to right, it's I mean, very minuscule. I mean, I guess maybe the print line, if that's print line. But it's like sometimes people, sometimes they want to be picky about the print line. Other times they don't care. So I don't know. But just funny. Really, really nice card, though, of, of sight there. Another really nice one here as well. We got the um, Battle Region 9. Has the trainer in the background. Who did this artwork? Utah. All right. Well, this is, yeah. The, Scyther has so many good cards. Who did this other one, actually? Now I'm thinking about it. Narumi Scyther. Sato? Yeah, Sato. But yeah, fantastic reverses of Scyther. It's kind of funny. Um, the Pokemon 151, everybody's calling it. I, I originally, when I posted about it and called it an error with the Pokeballs like this, I think it's just the way on the sheet that it's printed and they end up just lining up at the end. And then when the, the, the sheet starts again, however they lay this on there, um, it lines up the two. It, it lines them up like as copies rather than up top here you can see it's like opposite but they did the same thing on on these i don't know if you'd call it an error like i know people are calling it an error it's definitely different i mean you could collect this version i've thought about that too you could collect this version but it'd be tough to probably go through and find all of them with the uh the pokeballs lined up i might do that i have a in my 151 binder a four slot that ha currently has just a base another base card a second base card but i could do that i could look for the the mislined pokeball ones and maybe there's a master ball one too who knows i don't know and then we got the scyther from lucario v starter set psa 10 another i mean just three three back to back fantastic scyther artworks and they're all from 22 like that's crazy but this one by Ghidorah, fantastic super awesome 10 Oh, nice. And then <laughs> this is actually cool to finish it out. We have your boy, Corefish, here. The happiest boy that's ever been. Pokemon card, gym pack, promo, um, SP. Yeah, just look at him. He's the happiest boy he's ever been. Look at him. He just, hey, guys, PSA 10. What's up? Super cool. <laughs> it's so awesome. We did this. Some 0313, some, some company, I guess, but. Yeah, it's a good artwork. Corefish is a cool Pokemon. But yeah, it does it for this one, guys. Um, the next sub's coming back. It should actually be soon, but then again, like, I don't know when you're going to see this video. So uh, those I shouldn't be doing where I, like, mesh things together because I'll try and keep up with them a little bit more. It just depends. I mean, in all reality, it makes sense for me to do this, this style where I do it by date if and mesh them together if I get, like, two or three back within a week just because, again, I can do this. I can go through, check what I don't have listed, uh, get scans. It's already lined up. It's already by set, listed up, and then, you know, it's, it's done. Whereas if I do it the other way, I'd go through this submission and then list that submission. Or I'd do two videos back-to-back, -back, which... I know that doesn't, that sounds like it's not a bad, but like this is 24 minutes. Um, some of them creep up on 30, some go longer. And to do like two in one day, I don't know. Maybe that sounds lazy, but it's just not really my jam. But yeah. So the next ones, we'll see. I would assume it's just going to be one complete sub. And it usually it'll be that way too if it's something like it's like old backs, which I know there's an old back sub coming back soon. But yeah. As always, guys, like, subscribe, comment down below, or don't. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.